political news, political views. The show that uh, hopefully makes you think, uh, makes you wonder, makes you question, makes you use four-letter words. Um, I'm here with my partner, Todd Schleiger, <laughs> and we now have a new host, and after tonight, he's going to take over. Uh, his name is Corey. Uh, we couldn't get better. So now the show has been upgraded. <laughs> All right? Uh, I appreciate that, Dave. I'm hearing an echo. This, <laughs> as Dave said, this is political news, political views, where these gentlemen will, I guess, uh, shoot out their opinions about the current state of po uh, politics and how it affects you and I. So who's going to start this off? Well, there's questions. Uh, that Todd is still writing his. He's pondering. Uh, and Todd's pondering. Yeah, the, watch him ponder. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. You can you can start out. All right, Dave. Question is the Republican Party's future, where it stands now, and where it needs to go. You want to go first? Or you no, that's first? you right there. Okay, it's All your right. question. Oh. The reason I ask this question is that the Republican Party is so divided, and there's one thing that is absolutely true, and that is that this is Trump's party, what belongs to him, okay? There is a division there. There's the Reagan-Lincoln, or the, the, the real Republican Party, and then there's the Trumpsters. Oh, by the way, just a, as a side note, um, I heard the new uh, grouping for MAGA people. Thank you, producer. I now maggots. Maggots? Maggots, yeah. I thought that was great. But I threw that in. Now, here's <laughs> what I'm saying. The, the party uh, has got to divide. Trump says he does not want to split the party now because he's getting too much money off it. He's told the Republicans, do not send the money to the party itself. Send it directly to my PACs. So the money is now going to him. He has to account for 25% of that money. The rest he can use for political purposes. And uh, I guess as of this past weekend, he's, his new number one uh, political enemy is Lisa Murkowski. So he is going to put some money into that to get her out. Not because she isn't good, but because she's his enemy. And um, so what I'm thinking is that I believe that the Republican Party should split. You have your Reagan Republicans back then, and then you have your Trumpsters. Let Trump go his own way. Let him have his own party. Because basically, if you have politicians that are afraid of him, afraid of one losing their job, but some losing their life, because there's a lot of them that have been threatened, as it, this is the first president that we've had that has a militia, that has people that will cause violence at his whim. And we've seen it. He gets up there and he pisses and moans. You know, he's so abused. That's the thing with Trump. I'm, oh, I'm so abused. Look what they did to me. What he doesn't understand is a lot of this he brought on himself. But the amazing part is, which I really don't understand, is he has a devoted following that will do any damn thing he says, including sending them all their money. Why? I don't know. But let him have his party. Tell him the Republicans are now going to go this way, so there will be three parties. You can call Trump whatever the hell you want, or that party. Um, he probably, probably would call it the Trump party. But the Republicans, the Democrats. Now, the reason I think they don't split is, one, the distribution of money. You know, who's going to sponsor who. But the Republicans and the Trumpsters would not be able to win because they would cancel each other out. Now, I don't know what the separation is. It's kind of hard to tell. Do the majority of the so-called Republicans, are they for Trump or are they for, or are they Republicans? No one really knows. It's hard to tell. So this way, Trump can not only pick his own candidates, he can back them. He can own his own party, and he can be the dictator that he wants to be. Let me ask you a question. Do you, do you think, 
that sometimes if he, if he <laughs> <laughs> that's a little dangerous for you Dave. <laughs> um do you think that he has a chance if he decides to well i, I believe he's running again um for the next uh, presidency but do you think he has a chance without knowing who he's going up against at the moment <coughs> but, Again, it, it, his base, his ratings or his standings or whatever you want to call it, stayed steady all the way through. He never topped 50%, but maybe one time. But he did hold, he did hold uh, uh, the base. Now, how much of the base is still with him? Because a lot of them are starting to fall by the wayside. I don't know. Now, he cannot split from the Republican Party because would they still send the money to him? That's the question. And the Democrats are the same way. There's no, no difference in that. The Democrats, uh, you know, everybody is vying for that dollar and who's going to get it. So, yeah, I believe that they need to split. Okay. Now, first off, the Republican Party isn't going to split. Uh, these both these parties are fractured drastically. You have on the Democratic side, you have the progressives, which is AOC, uh, Omar, and the 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 four. I can't even remember all their names. Plus, you have Rashida Tlaib. These are all highly progressive Democrats. Uh, both parties are, like I said, they're fractured drastically. Um, right now, and you've got, uh, there was some statistics that I heard uh, early this morning. Uh, the people, I mean, the people don't understand what's going on what's with the border and everything else. But right now, we're currently between 180,000 and 200,000 plus crossing the border every month. Now, 60% of Americans believe that we need to do something to strengthen our borders and they are and 47 percent of them are saying that they should have left Trump's uh, I can't get the wall. word out no it isn't the wall they they should have kept his programs in place okay because right now the American people are believing at least the majority of them that Biden gave all the people in Southern America and Central America and all from the world because they're not just from this area. I mean, they're coming from Arabic countries as well as Asian countries up through our southern border. Okay? And they think Biden gave them an open invitation. Well, America's a great country. Don't get me wrong. Everybody wants to come here. Okay? It's the only country in the world right now where you can actually try to reach your dreams. You can't do it in any other country that I'm aware of, okay? But at this time right now, we can't afford to do what Biden's doing. Now, you said, <coughs> I mean, you oh, have time, such. Sorry, time's up. Sorry about that. <laughs> Maybe we need to go to three minutes. No, he's, he gets five minutes on his first rebuttal, so keep going. I mean, you three more minutes. over, over and over. You mentioned you can't stand the man, Donald Trump. Okay, I have never once. You like to say he's my favorite person and all this, and I just tell you over and over. I don't agree with everything he has to say, but a lot of his plans did well for our country. Uh, you said his tax cuts. You didn't receive any tax break. You did. You just don't realize it. 43% uh, of Americans, including the 1%, yes, receive tax benefits when, from his tax cuts. Corporations received benefits from his cuts. They employed more people partially because of his cuts, because they had more money to build their companies with. They, they had more money to hire new people. Okay, under his presidency, we had the lowest unemployment rate in 50 years. You can deny 
only because you want to deny only because of it being him, because of the disdain you hold for the individual. But if you look at his policies and not the individual, he did good things for the country. In the five months that Biden's been there, he's created even more of a crisis on the border. He's started inflation on the rise, and it's going to get much worse. He's pushing, uh, he wanted to push the infrastructure bill. He finally got Republicans to agree with him, and I think it's like 900 and some billion. Then he turns around and says now he wants to push to reconcili through reconciliation some human in infrastructure bill. The majority of these bills don't do anything for the COVID issues that we're having. These are slush funds for a lot of them are Democratic cities and Democratic states. The majority of the money goes, like right now, five of our largest cities are Democratic, correct? Chicago, Detroit, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and New York. Our largest five cities. They all got a huge money dump from the federal government. And right now, you got Mayor Duggan down here in Detroit. Not one dime of that has been mentioned for COVID. It's not a slush fund. It's something like 470 some million dollars that Detroit got. I have a problem when they don't put it towards the people. Okay? And that's where I'll leave that conversation. <laughs> okay. As far as how I feel about the man, he's a horse's ass. This man, what has come out now about the COVID, he caused the majority of it. Now, you told me once that he stopped the people coming from China. Well, the problem was they came from other countries and they kept coming in and coming in. And then he didn't want the people off the boat. He didn't want anything to make him look bad. And what was very low at the time, which is a book that just came out today, what could he could have, he could have done some good things with the COVID, but his ego got in the way. He also, on the tax thing, maybe you got more taxes, but not everybody did. And the top Wealth did, but what did they do? Exactly what the accountants said. They went and they bought back their stock. They built up their companies. Now, Obama, when he left office, the unemployment was on the down. It was going down, and he lowered it more than Trump did during the time he was in there. But in fairness, he came into a big mess. I mean, unemployment was high. He had to get it down. But Trump took credit for something that was already in place. Now, as far as what you say with Biden, what Trump did down in the borders, a lot of it was bullshit. He hid it, and then when he got caught, oh, Obama did it, oh, the Democrats did it, everybody else did it but him. You didn't know that he was going to pull every soldier out of all the other countries before he left office. You didn't know that he told the Justice Department to overturn the election. You didn't know that he told the uh, General Milley to shoot him. You didn't know all that because you want him to be something. The fact is he's a piece of shit. And if you want him as the leader of the party, that's fine. Have him as the leader of the party. But it's always everybody else's fault. Biden has done a lot more because remember this, as far as the stimulus package, Biden, not one Republican signed off on it. You're right. And not the one, reason why. But they took credit now, for it. Here's wait the thing. a minute. No, wait I'm a minute. Not gonna, it's no, my no, time. I'm not going to It's my time, and this. I'm no. only supposed to get two minutes. And here's where I'm going to interrupt. I gave you five. No, no, no. But, I only okay. get two minutes. So so you you here's the problem. Minutes. And no, wait a here's minute. Here's the you problem. You don't interrupt when I'm on I'm my I'm going to interrupt. When I'm, you get, no. when you start talking BS. No, you get your, you get you your done, time You now. done talked your BS on it. Okay. Biden is the reason we have the issue now that we have at the border. Okay. Trump's plans. You've got uh, HH, is it HHS, uh, Department of Human Sources, Resources, or not resources, but the, anyways, the border. They've already stated that they should have left Trump's plan in place. Okay, we had, 
we had it down to less than 40,000 a month coming in there at the border with his plans, his stay in Mexico plans. Mexico and Guatemala and these countries on the border had to receive these immigrants first. What's wrong with that? Tell me that. When it, it's spreading this, the, uh, the cost of all these immigrants, you expect us, the taxpayers, to pay for all this? Is it our responsibility to pay for it? No. But you're going to pay for it in the end because you want to support Biden. You think he's the, think the shit or something there just because you can't stand Trump. Okay? I, he's not a subject, subject to be idolized by me. I just don't see the problem with his policies. I don't care for the man's personal mouth that he done in a lot of his tweets, but his policies were good for the majority of them. You keep watching the clock. Go ahead. You're going to relinquish your time? Sure. All right, give me two minutes. Because <laughs> we, we still have his topics to go to, but. First oh, we all, can go. We can stay with Trump. This will keep him wound no, up all for the rest of the First of all, Biden, yes, he, he didn't handle that extremely well. But At he all. is getting it under control. Where? Trump didn't do squat. And Trump kept filtering money from the military for that goddamn wall. Only three miles of the wall ever got built, and now it's, it's just rubble. Trump didn't know what he was doing. He was a blowhard. And as far as you telling me, I, do I dislike Trump? Yes, he is a piece of shit. Biden, you can't get Biden, past wait a minute. that. Don't, don't tell I'm me about Biden. Don't tell me about Biden because Biden has done more for the people. Bullshit. Since he's Biden's, been in, Biden's since, been in freaking no, politics minute, for wait almost wait minute, I'm It's years. my time. I don't care. It's my time. Let him, let him give him his moment. Give the him insurrection moment. alone should put Remember Trump November in jail. 7th, 1983. You want to talk You remember January 6th when the president told the people to go there in March. What did he want them to go there for? He told them there to go and do what? Hugs and kisses, like he said? Sure. No, that was an insurrection. That was to Bullshit. force. That was to force. No, because you don't want to let believe let it. Let me ask a question. So, yeah, let me ask a question. So, Todd, so you, you, and your, your feelings about this is that you don't feel that Trump, his actions provoked any. I'm not. I've the, never admitted no, I'm to asking, saying I'm that. Asking, nope. I'm just asking. Nope. I've never asking. admitted to saying that, and I won't. Mm -hmm. For a simple fact, what I said, and we had a huge blow up about this on one of the shows. Mm -hmm because he's so bent on disdain for Trump. Mm -hmm. Yes, words matter. Mm -hmm. Just like what Maxine Waters running her mouth over the George Floyd thing over there telling the people to rise up in the streets, which they did. Mm -hmm. and they, they burned on all their riots. Mm -hmm. I mean, almost every riot that we've had in Portland, mm -hmm. Seattle, every, somebody's been injured, so, mainly so police don't, I, or fires. Sorry, They've you, destroyed their own seconds, communities. I want my 30 seconds. Here's what happened in Portland, too, by the way. This came out. It was a Republican that brought the people in to help do that, and those were white supremacists. He's now been thrown out. You say you don't, you can't, for once, whatever reason, you can see it on film. Trump has said it. It's coming out more and more and more that he helped organize it. Now, they first mentioned the first woman, Laura Bulbert. Mm -hmm. She was the first one. She took white supremacists through. Perfect. She's on film. Now, there's more coming out, too. There's, here's the whole thing. You Wait keep minute, uh, wanting to call this an insurrection, but you don't want to call any of the other riots anything I'm, more than a riot. I'm talking or, about let me January guess. 6th. January, how about November 7th, 1983? Susan Rosenberg that blew up a bomb in the White House. January 6th. No. January 6th. Who is was what Susan I'm Rosenberg? About. Don't bring up, don't, don't pull a Trump. Who was so Don't Susan? pull a Trump. Wait, don't look at this. Look at this. See this? See what happened I'm way back I'm trying to give you a no. point of view. Insurrection yeah. was, he wanted Bullshit. Biden. He wanted it was just to overturn a simple it. riot. It, it is not a simple riot because it was organized there. There were people just there. Like any they were there. Other no, riot. they were there, and they so, showed. And you said there was no guns. They found guns. There were guns there. There was you just nobody don't pay arrested. attention to what happened. Right. There was nobody arrested. Pay for fire attention. Arms. That's what you need to do. And then stop 
letting the Democrat Party say, Oh, they, the woman they killed, life. he was lying in wait. That was a lie. I know that it was. It was a lie. She, the crawled, same over, thing with, she crawled through the, the doorway. The same thing with... Uh, but he shouldn't uh, have shot her. When, when uh, Matt Gates got, oh, this is Antifa, dressed up as this. Then it was Black Lives Matter. Now it's the FBI. They, it's the, the FBI, FBI that did do it. Do you think the, the FBI were the ones that, is, that did it? They were the ones that organized it? Do you oh, come think, on. This do is you Trump and Trump alone. Trump alone. Bill Barr oh, came oh, out. Oh, oh, Bill Barr oh, came oh, out oh, this oh, week and oh, said oh, it was oh, bullshit. Trump was doing this. He wanted you to do it on my bill. One quit. man done all this. Yes. He needed then it. Then you need to go he find yourself some medical help. Oh, go to hell. Damn, I've damn. been there. All right, let's go to your, let's go to your next. <laughs> let's go to your question. No. Scott. Let's go to your question. <laughs> Todd's question is, what kind of thoughts do you have towards the Green, uh, the green New Deal? The Green New Deal, on my opinion, Wait, give him five minutes. Yeah. No, I don't need five minutes, but you can put it on there. Right. The Green New Deal is a way for the Democratic Party to just empty our wallets, mm -hmm. plain and simple. There's nothing that we can do, even by dropping our carbon footprint down to zero, is going to do any good. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's scientists on both sides. We already know that, but they don't want to believe any of the. I'm not a a, a believer in climate change. I never have been because our footprint is so small. I mean, come on, AOC was talking about cow farts, you know, and that we have to eliminate cow farts to help drop our carbon CO2. I mean, CO2 was much stronger in our atmosphere thousands of years ago. That's what our plant life lives on. That's what they generate and they make through photosynthesis, then they generate oxygen. Mm -hmm. That's our plant life. So, but even they, they have proof with core samples and stuff from Antarctica and all this and that, that the carbon O2 levels were much higher millions of years ago. Mm -hmm. The oxygen levels were higher, the carbon was higher. So I don't believe that man I mean, I'm sure we're putting something up there, mm -hmm. but they've already proven that it's like 0 0.012 or something like that of uh, the CO2 that we're putting in. I mean, we cut out some of the worst uh, car, uh, CO2 or ozone mm -hmm. killers that we had with the aerosols and everything. It's been years since I've talked about this. Mm -hmm. I just don't believe in it. I mean, there's been no proof that they can put out there other than to drum up uh, more money for their policies and for the party. This is just something that the Democrats are pushing to get more money from the people. People, you know, nobody has to agree with me on mm -hmm. it. I mean, I'm willing to sit down and listen to somebody who wants to have a legitimate argument with it and convince me, mm -hmm. but nobody has been able to convince me so far. So, and that's how I believe on it. So you think that everything's just pretty much taking its its course? I mean, I think it's nature in, mm -hmm. on its own because mm -hmm. um, we can't. Con I mean, methane is created from animals mainly. Mm -hmm. uh, we we generate methane in feces, mm -hmm. but they generate more of it than we do. Mm -hmm. We're not going to do away with our animals. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, come on, we're carnivores. Yeah. Uh, not me anymore. So. Well, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, I don't know. I love my steaks too much. Oh, I, yeah. I'll, I'll help get rid of the cow farts that way. I'll eat the cow. Uh, but I just don't believe that we can make a difference on it. I mean, if Michigan, and see, if you look at it this way, DTE mm -hmm. and Consumers Energy, DTE is a good one for this. They vow to be 50% uh, renewable energy by... 2035, I think it is. I could be off on that year. It might be 2030 or 2035. But I have a problem with it. Uh, wind power with the windmills, it generates electricity. I don't have a problem with it. Uh, solar, it generates electricity. I don't have a problem with it. But we found issues with it in California and now Texas. Um, you know, they. I think Texas is at 32% renewable. California is over 50 California has been having uh, rolling brownouts for years now. Mm -hmm. 
and they buy electricity from other neighboring states. The problem with it is uh, renewable energies at this time with our technology are only 40% uh, efficient. First off, we can't control the sun. We can't control the wind. So if the wind's not blowing, your windmills aren't turning, and if the sun's not shining, you're not getting hardly any energy out of them. Uh, this is where the fossil fuels take over. But we also have a, uh, one of the most efficient forms of renewable energies is nuclear. But there's a huge risk with that one, and I think technology has to increase on that as well. But the Green New Deal is something that we can't afford. And so you feel like none of this is like uh, j just an example of uh, California, I think it was over last week that uh, they had, uh, I guess, uh, high heat numbers and we had all the rain, you know, mm -hmm. this way. Uh, do you think that, so, uh, so basically what you're saying that you don't believe that climate change has anything to do with the way... <clears throat> With our temperatures going yeah, rising yeah, and everything with our like temperatures that, rising and, I think and, we're on a cycle. Drought. I mean, they've already stated that just for the sun, for simple, mm -hmm. uh, every eleven years it goes on a cycle. Okay. Uh, and right now we're in the high point of that cycle. Okay. Okay. And we have El Ninos and La Ninos and stuff like that for weather. I mean, there's all kinds of things that is controlled by other sources than us. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing that we can do that's really going to change what's going on here, in my opinion. Yeah, because I, I, as a, I don't remember having as many hurricanes as a kid that we, you know, that we see now. It's, it's we don't have as much snow as we yeah, used yeah, to either. Yeah. But I, I'll bet you, uh, I might not be around to see it, but you mm -hmm. might. I hope you are. Uh, well, I think we're going to start mean. getting uh, more more snow up here again. Yeah. Dave? You said that, uh, uh, oh, five, five minutes. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is my first one. You said, oh, the uh, Democratic Party wants more money and they want to pull money out of your pocket. I mean, what you failed to say was a lot of the pollution that comes out comes from companies like the Koch brothers who would dr sooner pay the fine than repair their facilities. The windmills and the solar have helped out. Fossil fuels will still be around. But it's also the fossil fuel companies that don't want renewable energy. Now, why would you think that is? Because they, uh, let me answer for you, so you don't interrupt me. <laughs> because this way, they keep that profit coming in. Now, it's also true that we subsidize the oil companies. We pay them to dig up oil, and they dig up the oil, and then they turn around and sell it to us at huge amounts. Now. Scientists have come back over and over and over with uh, reports. They did it under Obama, they did it under Reagan, they did it all the way back. The earth is changing and we are the cause of it changing. Now you could take Louis Gohmert, you know who Louis Gohmert is? Nope. Oh, he came from another planet and somehow he ended up in Congress. Well, how would I know He's a that? horse's ass from uh, Texas in the first district. But he came up with something. He went to the National Forest Service and asked them, to reverse the axis of the earth, to reverse climate change. This is what kind of an asshole is in Congress. One of them. We, we have caused a lot of our problems. We can fix them. What is happening now? Portland, 116 degrees, three days in a row. Portland, Portland never gets that. Lake Mead is slowly going down. There's less snow in the mountains, which means less snow, less uh, water going into the Colorado River. Now, who's going to be hit? California, Arizona, New Mexico, Las Vegas. They get the majority of their electricity through the Hoover Dam, but the water is down. Hoover, um, Lake Mead has dropped 128 feet. Now, where's that water going? It just we're not getting the, the snow anymore. We're not getting the rain, the precipitation. Have you noticed, like you said, the rain is here. Mm -hmm. We have an overabundance of it. Right, right. Down south, Florida, they have an overabundance. Nothing out there. The scientists that came through in the last four years were stifled. And Greg Pruitt, or Pruitt, uh, it might not be Greg Pruitt, he kept reversing the regulations. And every time he reversed the regulations, 
they got money. He sold those regulations. Oh yeah, he reversed them. He said, oh, politically it's not fair. No, it wasn't fair to the 1% because they were making money off it. They didn't want to do that. I'll give you an example. Where the salmon spawn in Alaska and in Utah, there are parks there. Trump turned those over for drilling, oil exploration, gas. Those, the one in Utah was a park. The one up there is where the salmon spawn and then go out. Mm -hmm. Food also has to be renewable. The climate and the uh, environment that they're in is necessary for that. Look what happened with Lake Erie years ago. We let it go. Oh, it's no big deal. Let it go. Let it go. Lake Erie was dead at one time. There were actual fires on top of the lake. It took them over 10 years to clean it up. Was that climate change? Was that pollution? We saw it. The money that needs to be spent is for the future. Will they, if we spend it now, will it reverse it? Hard to say. I don't know. The wind currents, for example, in Maui, they have windmill farm there mm -hmm. up in the mountains. You can watch those things spinning. In Hawaii, which is a good place for it, uh, in, the residents have solar roofs. They actually get money back. They don't pay for their electricity because it stores so much, they sell it back to the company. Now, Michigan, would it work? Not as efficiently as some other places, but it could. There are batteries out there for your homes that are solar. You see signs going more and more solar. Mm -hmm. Every little bit helps. I don't think that the Democrats want it because they want the money and they want to control the world. There is a legitimate scientific reason why these things are happening. For anyone to say, now for the rich who are making money off it, to say, why, why don't they look at the scientists that are actually against the, the climate change? You have equal amount of scientists that disagree with these pandering scientists that keep pushing it to get their grants. Why aren't they listening to the other scientists? They're not. They're only putting forward the ones that are saying climate change is as real as they think it is. Okay? And, and you brought up, uh, now I forgot what it was. My mind ain't the way it used to be because I'm always coming in here winging. <laughs> <laughs> But, no, I don't. I mean, you said the top 1% are getting all this money, right? You also said the fossil fuel companies are making all this money, and you're right. They are getting subsidies, and I don't think they should be getting any subsidies, okay? I think they ought to be taxed a little more because of the, all the loopholes. Well, better yet, get rid of all the loopholes so everybody pays the same tax, and you don't have to worry about it. But... I would rather be self-sufficient in our own energy needs than having to buy oil from the Middle East, for instance. That's where we were in the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. We started to become energy efficient after 2010. We started shale, uh, getting oil out of shale. New technologies came up. Under Trump, and it, I'm not saying it's Trump, but under Trump's administration, we were close to being energy uh, independent. You're gonna t you, can, you can say under Obama if you want, because that makes you feel better, because you can't stand the, main, the man's name of Trump. But the whole thing is, I would I rather be time. energy independent. Sorry. Two minutes. Yeah. Trump, during his term, there was a gas war going on between Saudi Arabia and Russia. They kept going lower and lower. They kept more producing more and more. That drove the price down because it was such a glut of it. We didn't have to use any of our oil. In fact, there was a point where they couldn't sell our oil because there was no value to it. There was too much of it. Well, they fixed that. But Russia and Saudi Arabia fixed that and the Arab Emirates. They fixed that problem, not Trump. Trump just took credit for you it. You just can't give that no, man credit no, for no, anything. Okay. The other no, thing was that uh, 
These companies, you know, does the name Scott Atlas mean anything to you? Mm -hmm. That's well, I know of Atlas Oil. Is no, Scott Atlas. No, Scott Atlas was a doctor that Trump pulled in because he agreed with everything he said. Pushing back Fauci, pushing back Redfield, pushing Fauci back lies everyone. anyways. Yeah, because the Republicans say he lies. So if, no, he's flip-flopped so many different ways. He didn't flip-flop. The fact was, new information came in because this was a new, new uh, virus. Every excuse every but the right one. Oh, yeah. So, okay, Trump. No, yeah. I'm not Trump. <laughs> Fauci, every time new information came in, all these doctors came out after uh, Trump was out of office, and they were asked. They said, we had to tell him what he wanted to hear. And then Scott Atlas did that. He came off of Fox News. He agreed with Trump. He was a radiologist. A radiologist. Yet he made himself out someone, a virologist. And he was an expert at it. And he was directing where everything went. He knew nothing about what he was going on to. And for those that, that disagree with it, well, that's fine. They disagree with it. But... Tell me this, if they are correct in their disagreement, why are you seeing the changes that you are right now? For? Climate. What changes? There ain't oh, nothing. You, you don't see any changes? No. No, oh, okay, all right. Holy for you. <laughs> I, there ain't a change going on right now other than it's summer right now and in, in the fall it'll be cooler Three again. Seven days of rain. Yeah. Well, <coughs> we've done that every year. We have stretches of rain yeah, and stretches of sun okay. well, and um, stretches I, I of kinda, snow. I, I kind of honestly, I don't want to go on this this, <laughs> this next, next question because um, we we kind of veer off to uh, <laughs> to talking about Trump. Um, and, no, uh, this is about the uh, the, the this, investigation. Uh, yeah, yeah, and. Well, let him go first. No, no. Well, he, go question. ahead, Ned. You can read my question then too. He'll, 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 he'll get can, you can too. Can we talk about sports? <laughs> you can talk about the Detroit Pistons in the first pick. Can we talk about that? Who they pick? No, no. They they just have oh. they have the first pick in the lottery. Has it? The draft hasn't happened yet because oh. I don't I don't I don't have a blood I don't have a blood pressure cuff here to uh, <laughs> for for Dave today. <laughs> so <laughs> I, one of these days, I'd like to get him to where he could just talk whether it you know forget about what he feels what, about the disdain and just talk what pisses me off is when and we've said this on the show a number of times I know I have and I think you have a couple of times right when you see something on TV and it is recorded and you can watch it it's right there in front of you and you come up and you say well that didn't happen example like I said with Trump he said that, oh, I didn't see any violence. The, uh, the protesters came in and all they had was hugs and kisses. Now, Clyde from Georgia said, no, they went through, they were very orderly, and they marched through during the, with the stanchions and they were taking pictures. So what caused the violence then? I mean, if, uh, if no, that's... Wait, if well, that... wait a minute. That's what he said happened. There was no violence, just like you said. There was no insurrection. Well, let me ask no, you No, I said, you said, I didn't say there was no insurrection. You need to stop putting words into my mouth. I said, I consider it the same as any other riot across the country. For the last year and a half. Okay. There, so I mean, why, why, why is it an insurrection when all the rest are just called s riots? Because the purpose of it was to reverse who was going to be president? That's what a that's lot. Of, what, that's what the Democratic Party is saying. No, the yes, Republicans listen, said it too. No, this is what I'm getting at. I know I've seen on Facebook, I've seen on social media, there were people that were saying that they were going over there to try to reverse the the election. I understood that these were regular people, and this is the same thing. What I'm getting at is the fact is yes. Our words have meaning, and they can incite riots, okay? But you have never once answered, why is this an insurrection, and why are the rest just regular riots? Okay, one, the other ones were for a cause. 
A man died on the street. They're not all about George Floyd. No. What happened to George Floyd was a terrible thing, and I understood that. I have never said anything different and there about has, it. There but has, why? But I want to know why. What the difference is between the two? With January sixth, <coughs> you say there were just protesters that went over. That's not what happened. Okay. Okay. Now, you, why did they go over? Why did they go over? Here? Why did they go over? Here? They went over to protest. Protest. Is that what they said, Mike? Okay. Now, then, what Trump said, he had told Mike Pence two days before. You're, you no, are getting that, way off the that, subject. I'm not getting off the subject. Yes, I'm you are. I'm explaining the subject. You're not I'm explaining, explaining shit. what an you're insurrection pointing, is. You're pointing at Trump I'm explaining here. what the insurrection is. Trump told Pence, all, let me finish. With that. Let uh, me uh, finish. Let me, okay. let, me, let, me give, let, me, let me give him two minutes. All right. I'll, 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 Trump, I'll write my tongue. Two Trump told Pence, all you have to do is reject it and I stay as president. Pence told him, I can't do that. Bill Barr told him, you, he can't do that. Mm -hmm. Now, when Pence went over there at the uh, meeting when uh, Trump was talking, he said, now, if Mike Pence does the right thing, because Pence had already told him he couldn't do it. it. Maybe he wanted to. Maybe he wanted to. But he couldn't. So he, they went over there. They put up a noose for uh, Pence. The Republicans were the ones that objected to things that they had no knowledge of. Now, one of those that came out this week was Michigan said there was no fraud. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. And that was by the Republicans who investigated, four Republicans, one Democrat, there was no fraud. Trump has continuously said this, Mike Pence didn't do what he wanted. Do you believe that those people were there for hugs and kisses? Because they sure as hell beat up a lot of people and tore up a lot of walls and smashed a lot. I can see that. Even if I didn't know why they was over there, I know that wasn't a peaceful protest. There was no way it was a peaceful protest. The Secret Service had to tell Mike Pence and his family three times, you have to go, you have to go. He got out with one minute to spare. <coughs> now, because it didn't happen, and this is a terrible thing to say, because, because uh, they didn't get a hold of Pence, would they have hung him? Don't know. Would they have, what would they have done to Nancy Pelosi? Don't know. But they were in a bloodthirsty mood. And so a lot of those cops were beaten and tortured with their own guns, with their own tasers, and you sit there and you tell me, oh, it was just, it was a protest like every other protest. Well, and they're, they're all the same, but the cause of it before, was to overturn the election. Before, before, all right. Now, that was the purpose. You, go before, ahead. Before go you ahead, answer, I'll let you. Before you answer, I, I have something because it, it kind of reminds me of the situation with Governor Whitmer where those guys were plotting to mm -hmm. do whatever they were going to do. It wasn't just her, actually. The next well, yeah. one was uh, the Virginia governor. He was yeah. next. And then Mike DeWine Ohio. was the third one. Yeah. And he's a Republican. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess is all this aligned with, uh, uh, well, let me ask you, is all this in your mind aligned with Trump's rhetoric? Trump has a following. And that following is, I'll, that's one thing I will agree with you on. Why and how? What is it about this man that they are so devoted to? But these are militias. These are people that he has, and they've said he doesn't send the message. Go beat the shit out of them. Did you know that uh, the protesters in Washington, do you know what he said to General Milley? No. Now this just came out. Shoot them. Oh, just yeah, shoot them. I read, I read that. Yeah, I read that. And out. Millie said, I can't do that. And he said, well, then just shoot him in the leg. Shoot him in the foot. <laughs> All right. Give I, here, two here's minutes. what I'm getting at. You I'm still didn't answer the damn question. What is the difference between an insurrection and the riot? Because everything you said, you kept pointing at Trump because you feel it was over I'm, Pence and everything else. But here's the thing. They destroyed walls in there, you said, though. That they beat up police officers, like you said. No, wait, What's wait. The question. Wait. Stick to the question. Oh, now we're on this. The I've question. asked this question. You still haven't answered. The I question. asked this to you on the last show, and you blew up like you started to earlier. You still cannot answer it because everything that went on in these riots all over the country, they all had the same thing in common. They all destroyed things. 
They all hurt oh, the police oh, okay, and okay, each other. Okay. They all. That's I'm trying to get at this. Then, when why Trump is was, oh, this? Our police. You got, you got they were back at Trump. You cannot tell me what the difference between an ins this insurrection is. It's the only one being called an insurrection. It's the only one. An insurrection is an overthrow of the government. Ah, the Democrats tried it with Trump. Huh? With the fake impeachments. That was everything. not fake. Oh, that was not fake. There's nothing. There's that was nothing. Not fake. The only, that was not the fake. The only. The tape came out with Rudy Giuliani. The only. The tape came out with Rudy Giuliani the only making the deal. Russian interference was from the Democratic Party and that Hillary Clinton. That was not the impeachment. No. The but impeachment the, the, was he was trying to. Use the money that was going to Ukraine to get him. There was to nothing help. there. There was there not was, one crime yes, listed. Yes, there was. It has come Which out. Which crime was listed? On Rudy, the Giuliani was, Rudy, Rudy Giuliani was. Rudy Giuliani was recorded making the deal. Which he crime made the was deal listed? for Trump, Which and then Trump crime called was him. Was listed on the impeachment charges. He was using a foreign. What crime? He was, was using arrested? a foreign country uh, to aid his in, uh, election, as did Putin. <laughs> Putin said he aided him. Putin said he interfered. Which crime was listed? That is a crime. There is no that crime is listed. A, yes, it's in the Constitution. You cannot take foreign money. You cannot take foreign. That's, debts. You cannot that take was not on the impeachment yes, articles. Yes, it was. No, it and wasn't. he lied. And he lied on the January sixth. He caused January 6th. Now, the one thing, okay, with Just the charges. Like the Democratic Party charge caused all right. the, uh, <laughs> Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, now wait a second. Okay. With, with that first uh, impeachment. I got to quit. I got With quit. the first impeachment. That was fake. It, it was fake? Yep. Oh, yeah. McConnell made it fake. McConnell said two weeks before that. Trump would not be convicted, so you're wasting your time. We don't care what he did. And the senators came out afterwards and said, yes, he did. Lamar Jackson, uh, Murkowski, uh, the, the one from Maine, uh, Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney only had well, now would be a good time to they came oh, out. Oh, no, oh, no he's not because they're all afraid of him. Because Trump's militias have gone to people's oh, houses. Trump has Trump's militias now. Yes. No. The Proud Boys, we've had the three percenters, we've had they these are devoted to him. him. Even the FBI has come out this week and, and, well, not just this week, the past few months. You just don't want to listen to that. No, you, he you has bought his into own the conspiracy. That is not a conspiracy. You, you're trying to say Trump has militias. Trump has militias. Those militias he have been followers. around for decades. They are devoted to him. Oh, now they're devoted to yes, him. Yes, they are. They've been that way for a long time. So does that mean, so you, does you, that mean our United States military is devoted are, to Biden? The senators and congressmen have said that they have been... Uh, uh, um, Under surveillance? No. no. Um, intimidated by these people. You know what? There's an old saying Thomas Jefferson said. When the people fear the government, it's tyranny. Okay. When the government fears the people, when, that's liberty. So when I'm Trump, glad they're afraid of the militias. When Trump was uh, used the uh, jail, uh, the Department of Justice mm -hmm. to go after people, to check their phone records, to check who and what they were talking about, he used the DOJ to go after his own people. Didn't? The Senate, or excuse me, the Congress do the same thing? Not that I know of. They didn't go at trying to go after Trump for why, his records? Why? Okay, okay, Trump. Because okay, Trump. I'm pointing yeah. okay, out Trump. everything that okay, you're Trump. throwing. Hey, look over there. Look over there. That Don't doesn't work. No, no. No, it doesn't work. It's bullshit on your part. Just because An I play devil, devil's yeah, devil's Yeah, it's not devil's advocate. advocate. That's just being a jackass. Well, then I'm a jackass. Yeah. I'm the biggest jackass on this Those show. Those people went in there. You can look on that. All right, I got to talk with someone with some sense. Did you see those films? <laughs> Did you see the films? <coughs> Did you the see the ones of the other the riots? Movie. Did you see the films? Yeah. Did, Did you see the other Did riots? Did you see We're Ferguson talking? burn? This, is an, this was an insurrection. Did you see Ferguson this burn? Was an that was an insurrection. No, that was not. They oh. weren't an 
insurrection. Oh, all this the insurrection was to overtake. All the communities oh, burning. On. You're just trying to turn it twist. No, I'm trying to no, point out not. the exact same no, thing. No, it is not the exact yes, same thing. Yes, it is. That was an incident that happened. Trump was oh. causing an incident. He wanted to have power again. Michael Ferguson's brother. He wanted brother. to have power again. Michael, Michael Ferguson's, Ferguson's brother, brother had nothing said, to do with this. let's burn this that town is, down. That it's is wrong. Incident. That is wrong. That's an incident. That's Correct. Get That's it. an incident. That's Trump wanted the government it. overturned. He wanted Pence to be uh, pressured into not doing it. The senators were there doing the same goddamn thing. He that wanted power. you. He, that, that's an overthrow of the government. Just that's like against the, the Constitution. No, it's not the Democrats. That's just oh, the Democrats. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Trump. They're cool. It's the Democrats. Yeah, it's the FBI. Yeah, it's Black Lives Matter. Yeah, it's every goddamn person. I can't person do this. Yeah, we, got, you, we got three minutes. You cannot. Got, you refuse. You're your scaring the hell out of me. It's not Dave, that. Dave, Use your head. Dave, Dave, I mean, I see that stuff Dave, on TV. We see Dave. the information coming out, and you sit there and talk But you something. don't look Dave. at nothing but what the Democratic I'm Party looking at. January 6th. And I'm, I'm looking you. at January 6th. Well, well, it's only in January 6th. January 6th. In your year. November 7th. January 6th. Yeah. Well, June 5th, 1957. I don't give a damn. Susan Rosenberg. January 6th. January 6th. January 6th. January 6th. Dave, Dave, Dave. January 6th. Dave, January 6th. Dave, Dave, Dave. Where is she a member? Thank you, Trump. Dave. Over there. Dave. Look over there. Look over there. No, Don't Dave. know. It's been away from the issue. The Dave. issue is you January 6th. You won't listen. You won't listen. You keep because trying to. Oh, look over here. Look at this no, thing. Look at this. You won't what about listen to any City? other side. That, no, yes. We are talking about January 6th. Stay on topic. And you can't answer stay on the topic. friggin' question. That is not part of the question. I asked. That's bullshit. Why is this an insurrection? Because you and don't, none of the others are. I told you. Trump wanted because the election Because it's all about overturned. Trump with you. This was about power. This was not about an incident. This was about him wanting to stay as president. This was about power, and that wasn't the only issue. That wasn't the only thing he this did. That wasn't the only thing. This so much. You it's cannot dictator. look at Trump any other angle. Trump is trying to be a dictator. Just like our governor here. She is not. She did her job. I'm no fan of hers. She did her job. It was the Republicans that she said. She cost so, the, Oh, hold yeah. Hold so the Republicans hold had hold that hold militia hold come up and intimidate her. <laughs> I do want to. I do want to ask him a question about that. Because I, 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 I remember the last show that I was here, you, you said that she was a dictator, and I, I just want to kind of you explain, explain that. Uh, Reason is about. because, and Dave and I had this conversation before mm -hmm. the election, mm -hmm. uh, and he didn't believe it. Mm -hmm. I told him the reason that I was talking about getting back into the race or was running for governor in 2022 mm -hmm. was because I was in Lansing, July 7th of 2020 because I had personal business, I was going to see Gary Peters mm -hmm. on to see if I could get his help. Gretchen Whitmer and Dana Nessel came out of the press room, com conference room, press room, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. They had just given a uh, press conference on our schools. I don't remember what the system was, what the conference was about, mm -hmm. but I was actually giddy I was going to go up and try to shake the hand of Governor Whitmer. I, mm -hmm. It would have been the first time I got to shake a governor's hand. Mm -hmm. I didn't care about Dana Nessel. Mm -hmm. But th when Dana Nessel made a comment, and they weren't, they were maybe 12 feet away from me. Okay, I was behind them because I was walking towards Gary Peters' office. And when, I, and when she said, we have to do whatever we can do to suppress Michigan's economy more than what we're doing, and Gretchen Whitmer, mm -hmm. I was there. Wait a second. When Gretchen what, Whitmer. What happened I'll, I'll, I'll when finish, Greg Abbott said when, what he I'll, I'll said? Finish. Let me finish. What happened when, when John Gre Santa When Gretchen said Whitmer what he said, said, I'm doing everything that I possibly can. I'm I came onto the show shortly. We, I think it was I think we had like two couple, weeks late. Like maybe two minutes. Two weeks later, I came on the show and I told Dave about it. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I told him, I said, you watch. She's going to keep our economy closed until after the election. Nah, she won't do that. She did it. She kept well, it minute, every month. She was. I didn't disagree with you on that. Close. She suspended again for another thirty days. I didn't disagree with you, but we were a hot spot too. And I have, and ever since then, I mean, she's cost Michigan over four hundred thousand jobs. And this is this is over. I'm sorry to interrupt, but this is over just the the COVID. 
during that. No, this speaking. wasn't. This was more than just the COVID. But you're okay, right. It was during that, during that, that, during that, that time. During that time. It was her excuse. I mean, the uh, the Supreme Court came back and said she abused her power, mm -hmm. so that's why they overturned her uh, authority to <coughs> close the economy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's time. It's time. It, it just those things like that just pushed me towards it. But now I that I disagree we're, with you on that one. I didn't disagree with you. I said I didn't. By know. the way, I'm not I running said, for governor. I said to you that if you I put her in jail, if you, no, I'm just kidding. Why did you have to do that? <laughs> I didn't say lock her up. <laughs> well, I'm going to give you each 30 seconds to say something. We got like a, a, a minute and some change left. <laughs> well, Dave, I think and we got to let him cool know, down I, you a little know, bit. I, you know, next show, uh, I'm going a, I'm to a challenge Dave to uh, find some positive things to say about Trump. Hey, that um, was one thing I had on my list. <laughs> yeah. That was the only thing I did say was he has a following that has not. The only thing that I can see is that he breeds hate. Mm -hmm. And these are people who have not been listened to by Democrats mm -hmm. and Republicans. Mm -hmm. They, the politicians before, they never bothered Our to Our next show, anyone. I'm going to bring up Georgia voting laws because Biden wants to call them Jim, Jim Crow, Crow on steroids. <laughs> well, I, I do want to say, I, you know, with the, the insurrection and riots, uh, I feel not, I'm not taking any sides, just so you know. Uh, but I do feel there's a difference between because there was a cause of, um, you know, for justice. And I, and I think the, the insurrection or whatever you want to call it was something you know totally different um these uh these individuals out there were uh wanted their voices to be heard you know so i i me myself i can't compare i can't compare the two um as far as the rioting i've heard several different stories about uh there was um instigators um you know causing the the, the fires and things of that nature i wasn't there so i can't say right um all we know is that every riot yes there is some burning of property things of that nature but i i can't put me myself i can't but there were a lot of accusations that were never founded never proven mm -hmm. the fbi came out the fbi did find some yeah, so five uh, seconds. yeah. Uh, i mean it's on so, both sides I know that, but I, I just don't like the term insurrection when it's a riot, just like any other riot. That's You're not going to change my mind on that. I've seen the same thing on both sides. Well, that's it, folks. Political news and, and our all, views. Uh, <laughs> all the news about Trump and political, <laughs> political views. I hope you enjoyed the show. We I won't be back next Tuesday, but I'll be back the following Tuesday. Um, so. Maybe we'll wait here for you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, as always, I enjoyed uh, these. Uh, I don't even call them debates, arguments. <laughs> I don't know, verbal he chats. It on <laughs> I don't said I was going to. Don't let him. Don't let him. I'm yeah. Corey. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, uh, I guess. Are we off now? We are now. <laughs> <laughs> January.